All right, so today we're looking at a Bluepoint 1020 broken bolt extractor, screw extractor set. So this has got a setup for a various smaller type fasteners. So if you were to break off a bolt, say taking off a manifold or something, what they say is to leave the manifold in place and use it as a guide. So just using this vise as an example. So if the bolt was broken off down at the table level, you would take this, which has got a small diameter hole in it, as like to set up your pilot drill. You drill into here with the pilot bit, and then you'd move, take it out, and move on to a larger bit, and drill in. Then they have these uh, splines here, so you would hammer the spline into the broken bolt. It'd be sitting something like that. And then you would remove it just using a, a common wrench. If not, you'd have, uh, there's other types of broken screw extractors, they're more like a wedge. I'll grab that on my toolbox in a minute. I wasn't aware of these being available until I happened to get it in an auction lot. So it's got various different sets. Missing a couple pieces here, but generally pretty good, pretty complete. So that's uh, pretty exciting to see this. It seems like it's a way better option than the other thing that I have in my set in my toolbox here. So if you have a conical type broken bolt remover, you just kind of have to eyeball it and drill in and hope that it, it catches. And it's just going to be caught on a, a small part of that bit. It's not going to be a, a good bite necessarily. Now I find you put a lot of pressure on these and they don't fit in the hole always. Can't reach in very far. Whereas these have a great depth reach. Depth reach. So uh, not that I'm hoping to break any bolts off because that's really what you're trying to avoid. Do everything you can to avoid breaking it off. But if you do break it off, you can use a, a kit like this to extract it. So they have different like uh, heating elements now for removing bolts. I don't have any of those, but they're pretty neat. Where you put a collar over the bolt, and it's like an induction heater, and it heats up the bolt, and it generally it breaks the uh, corrosion bond, and it works pretty good. So uh, thank you for watching.